Awesome. All right. Well, my name's Meredith. I do uh, Midday's and Weekends here on Sonic. And thank you to everybody for coming out. <laughs> First off, uh, I got to congratulate you, man. Signing on to the IMG record label. Thank That's you. huge. Thank you. How amazing does that feel? Amazing. Yeah. Now you probably, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that you probably grew up listening to Flo Rida. Yes. So what is it like now to be working so closely with him? It's a dream come true. You can only like, I don't even think people could even dream about working with someone that they see on TV and stuff like that. And I have that privilege. Absolutely. You wake up every day and is it kind of like, oh wait, this is real. This is legit. Yeah. <laughs> How did it happen? It was actually, uh, an artist on my label, CP Records, uh, his manager is really good friends with them. And they were chilling and he was showing them his stuff on YouTube. Okay. And he's like, yo, you gotta see this kid. So he searched me in and he was showing them the stuff and he was showing them a performance. And he's like, wow, like this is crazy. And then there's a flip that I do in, in a Say I Love You performance. Right. And um, I lay on the floor and my dancers grab my legs and flip me up. Mm -hmm. And he's seen that and he just went crazy. And like he got on the phone, he called Flo, he's like, yo, you gotta go on YouTube, you need to look at this kid, like this kid is crazy. Right. And then uh, Munch, uh, Flo was in Montreal performing at the Balloon Festival and he brought me out there and we met and we just got right to work and from there it just took off. So what, the phone rings and Flo Rida is like, hey dude, it's Flo Rida, what's going on? No, How does was, that work? It was actually my manager, he called okay. me and he's like, Flo Rida wants to meet with you. Right. And I was like, you're lying to me. He's like, I swear. <laughs> you're like, He's like, I swear. I'm like, you're lying to me. I'm like, there's no way. He's like, I swear, you're going to Montreal next week. I'm like, all right, let's do it. I packed my stuff, went to Montreal. Absolutely. I wouldn't even pack my stuff. I just <laughs> right there on the train or the plane or whatever it took. That's pretty cool. Um, IMG record label, I was reading uh, quite a bit about it, and it's doing some cool things. Like, what, what do you know about it? Like, what, what makes this one different? Like, what is he trying to do with this by signing people like you? He, I think he's just trying to have artists in every different kind of genre. Right. Like he has rappers signed, he has girl rappers signed, he has a, a bunch of artists signed, and now he recently signed me, which is kind of like a different direction that he's taken it with the younger pop and stuff like that. Absolutely. Now you used the term yourself a couple times here, and I wanted to ask you, you know, you're always saying, you know, look at this kid, see this kid. Do you take that offensively? Like everyone's always like, yeah, it's this kid. I mean, but I mean, you're, no. not, you're not just some kid. No, but I am a kid. <laughs> I am a kid, it's just I gotta deal with a lot more things. Yeah. I'm st I would have been sitting here for a flow interview, you know? Yeah. But instead, I'm up here, so. Yeah. But I'm still a normal kid, I go to school, it's just hard for me to do things. Absolutely. Now, I wanna talk about that because I think it's amazing that you are still going to school because um, when I was in high school, I could barely fit in studying with my <laughs> gossip chats on the phone. Like, how do you do all this? You've got dance classes, you've got. Yeah. You know, you're working on your album. What's, how do you do this? Dedication. Dedication sleep? and priority. Do you ever get any sleep? I never sleep. <laughs> never ever, eh? Right? I noticed that too. I Always was checking you work. out on Twitter last night and I'm like, he's got a big day tomorrow and he's still up. What's happening never, here? Never sleep. That's amazing. Um, all right, so we were mentioning the new album is coming out shortly, which has got to be one of the big reasons that you're not mm -hmm. sleeping right now. Yeah. Um, what can you tell us about the new album? I've put my heart and soul into it, and I just want to release the best product that I can, and I want everyone in the world to relate to it. Absolutely. Now, how do you go about that? You know, you sit there and you, you can say you want everybody to relate to it, but how? How are you going to make that happen? You just got to absorb the world. You just got to see how people react to things, how they don't react to things, what they say, what they don't say. You just got to really learn from every experience. Absolutely. Um, on the album, Clearly, you've been working on it for a while. You, mm -hmm. You've been working on it since before all of this, you know, shook yes. down with Florida, right? Yes. Has that had any changes, any influences? Did you suddenly go back to the drawing board with him and maybe reshape things? Definitely, because he has his people that he, work, that he works with, and I have my people, so I got, a, I got a chance to meet them and work with them, and we worked on some new songs, and we have great songs ready to come out. So he's probably a, a bit of an influence on the new album then? Definitely. A, a, would you say a big influence? Or? Yes. Yes. Okay. Everyone is a big influence. Everyone's a big yeah. <laughs> Your cousins, I don't know if everybody knows this, but Danny Fernandez and Sean Desmond too, would you say that they're pretty big mentors and influences on this album as well? Yes, definitely Danny. He took me under his wing from day one and just made sure I was all right. Very cool. And uh, one of the biggest exciting things uh, that's going on is the single radio. Yes. 
And we're actually going to be the first station, I believe, to get to air that today. So that's okay. you. Just make sure you guys are tuning in for that. What can you tell us about it before we play it? It's really different than anything else I've done. Okay. It's, it's way different than Girlfriend and Say I Love You. It's more of like you're chilling on the beach and it's just playing in the background and you're having a good time. So this could be a summer anthem. Yes. That's what we're going to push planning for. for it. We're planning I'm going to go ahead and deem this the official summer anthem of 2012. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. And this one features Flo Rida. Yes. Okay, so this one's going to be on your album then. Yes. Uh, and it, it won't be on his album. That's coming out later this summer. No. Okay. And are you going to be featured on his new album then too, do you think? Or I is... don't know. I don't know yet. Fingers crossed. Still in the works, yeah. <laughs> Hope so. Cool. So tonight's huge. Kick yes. off of the tour. Yes, yes. Vancouver's actually going to be the first city. Mm-hmm. How much rehearsal time has gone into this? A month. A okay. month every day, at least four hours every day. Really? Yeah. That's a lot. It takes a lot. Now, when you're doing these rehearsals, are you right there with uh, Florida and Pipple? No, I was actually in, you? I was in Toronto rehearsing, and okay. Flo lives in Miami. And Pipple, I haven't got a chance to meet him yet. So okay. it was kind of, this tour is kind of, I got I to gotta show them what I could do. Absolutely. I gotta show them what I'm capable of. I think you're gonna do it. If I've seen Thank even you. the dance moves alone, holy moly, <laughs> that you. flip. Oh, Thank I almost you. want to get you to do it right here, but I don't want to hurt anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, about the dance moves too, while I bring them up, how, how did that start? Like, at what point did you realize that you, you know, you had a talent in that and you wanted to embellish that and start taking lessons? And I mean, do you, do you have to, is it a craft that you work on every day or are you just somebody who can be like, hey, look at me, I can do these flips? Well, yeah, any, anything you do is, is something you gotta practice at. And I started dancing at the age of 10. Okay. And I was dancing competitively for four years. And then I stopped that and really took up my singing as more of, more of something and put everything into that. And I'm happy I did, because look what came out of it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I was reading a little bit about you and you mentioned that dancing is kind of one of the, the ways that you put yourself into your performances. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just what, you write in the lyrics, but it's your dancing as well. And I thought that that was a really cool way to look at it. Thank you. I thought that was really cool and Thank unique. Um, that being said, do you do majority of the writing for your songs? I co-write. You co-write? Yeah. And you co-write with, is it Ryan Dan? Yes, I work okay. with a lot of people. I work with Ryan and Dan. I work with uh, the people that Flo work with. I work with, I work with a lot of people. Does it ever get to the point where someone shows you a song where they come up with an idea that maybe they've written the majority of? And mm -hmm. you, do you ever say, get to say like, no, I don't like that? Yeah, yeah, have definitely. You have, have because you exercise that? <laughs> yeah, there has been times that people will send me songs and I'm like, I don't like it, like at all. Good for you. And then there's times that people will send me a song like, I like the song, I like the idea of it and everything, or like, I don't like the beat, or mm -hmm. I don't like the verse or the chorus or something like that. And either they change it or I go in and really give it my, my little touch. Right. So I make sure that everything I do has me in it. That's, that's important. I like that a lot. Because I imagine, you know, it can probably be pretty easy to just be like, oh, yeah, that looks good. Let's do it. Yeah. But it's nice, yeah. it's nice to see that you're, you know, you're going in there and you're saying, no, that's got to go. Yeah. I'm going to put this in instead. I have to believe in myself and everything that I do. If Absolutely. I don't believe in a song or in a performance or something, I'm not going to feel good doing it. So Absolutely. That's the way I look at it. I like that. I like that Thank a lot. You. Um, you are, I, we've talked about it, you're young, so at this yes. point you've achieved so much, way beyond anything I've ever achieved at your age. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are so cool compared to me. Um, what's next? Like, what, at this point, where do you, do you have a goal, or are you at that point now where you're like, I'm just going to cool my jets for a bit here and see what's going down? No, I, I never take it easy. Never. No. You what's, always, you, your biggest competitor is yourself. I like that too. This is so inspirational. <laughs> Uh, so then what's next then? What are you looking at? I mean, you know, not necessarily in the next month, but five years down the road, what's something do you, you know, I want a Grammy on my shelf or I want to collaborate yeah, I, with this I person. I definitely want a lot of awards. I want to have maybe a whole room full of awards, I hope. There you go. And uh, I definitely want to collab with uh, Chris Brown. I definitely want to collab with Flo again. Okay. Uh, Rihanna, The Dream, The Weeknd. A lot of people. That's huge. Yeah. Those are good goals to have. Thank you. I like to think that when you do may do all those collaborations, you'll be sure to send them all our way. <laughs> I will. Definitely. Definitely. That's awesome. Well, so you must be pretty pumped for tonight. Yes. Uh, I know you've got Danny Fernandez in town. He's going to yes. be checking it out. Yes, I do. Uh, I was tweeting with him a little bit yesterday. He was saying he was down to check out the show. Is he going to be following you on the tour as well? You know, showing yeah. his support, a little yeah. family love? It was actually last year I was on uh, the Soda Pop tour with him, and he was bringing me out. 
and the first show was actually in Vancouver, my first show ever. Oh, cool. So it's good to be back here. And yeah, I want to bring him along everywhere I go. You know, he, he always teaches me a lot of things. Well, and it must be nice to, like, I mean, you must, you're always surrounded by people at yeah. this point in your life, but it must be nice to have someone with you that's family. Definitely. You know, that you're not Definitely. trying to impress, that it's okay if you didn't mm -hmm. gel your hair. It's yeah. okay, you know, <laughs> that's all right. He's not going to judge you. Mm -hmm. So that must be pretty cool too. Uh, you mentioned this is your, is this, would this be your second time in Vancouver then? Yes. What was your favorite part about being here the first time? Anything that you're like, I'm doing that again? Uh, I had a Jappa dog. <laughs> ah, yeah. there you go. Have you had one this time around? No. You no. gotta do it. But I think I have another day here, so we're good. Okay, good. You gotta get that in. Yeah. Anything else that you may wanna make sure that you do while you're here? Uh, no. no. I haven't really had time to go around and like look at the city. Okay, you should, it's beautiful. You should take me. All right, let's do it. What we'll are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> He's like, I'm busy for you. <laughs> awesome. Well, I don't want to eat up too much more of your time. I know you guys are on a really tight schedule, especially now. Uh, but thank you so much for popping by. Thank you for having me. Thanks for chatting with us. And thanks for letting us uh, be first on your new single radio. No That's going to be huge, and we are so excited for thank it. Thank you for all the love and support. Absolutely. Tyler Medeiros, everybody. Woo!